color grading and transform your videos from ordinary to extraordinary in just a few clicks. It's true. So in this tutorial, I'll show you how to take your footage to the next level and make your videos truly stand out. Before we begin, I'd like to give a shout out to Canva for always coming through every time I need graphics. You can try it for yourself, it's free. And you get a 30 day free trial once you subscribe to Pro. Anyhow, welcome to today's tutorial and a big shout out to you for helping the channel get to 100 subscribers. Big thanks to my viewers from India. Now, let's talk about a challenge that many creators face. Achieving that perfect look on your videos can feel overwhelming, right? You open up Premiere Pro and suddenly you're bombarded with all these tools and options, color wheels, sliders, LUTs and more. It's easy to get lost in the technicalities and end up with a flat image that doesn't convey the mood or emotion you want. I get it. So how do you turn your overwhelming experience into something manageable? First, import your videos, then drag them to your timeline. Secondly. Go to your clips and select a frame to use for your grade. As for me, I usually go with the frame that shows skin tone, a little bit of background or foreground. After that, add a new adjustment layer. We're gonna be using the new adjustment layer for our grade. Now, on the left side of Premiere Pro, you'll see the metric panel. If you don't see it, Go to your window and select it. You can also switch your workspace to color for easier color grading. On basic correction, using the qualifier tool, select a white part on your frame to white balance. Then lift your highlights while still looking at your frame prefer not going above 30. Then lower your shadows. For this, I prefer keeping the slider below negative 30. And then add a little bit of white. Then reduce the blacks. saturation just to make the colors pop and we jump straight to curves where we're gonna create three points and try to make the S shape notice I didn't add any contrast on the basic correction this is because the curves do a better job at adding contrast on your videos After that, we are gonna make some colors pop using the hue versus saturation. In this, you can use the qualifier tool or input the colors manually.
Next, jump to Hue vs Hue and tweak the colors to your liking. After that, we jump straight to color wheels and match. Here, we're gonna be grading our video and giving it a look or a grade. It's simple. We're gonna do the midtones. Adjust your preference and if you're going for a look like the one I showed in the beginning of the video, follow through my settings. Next, we're gonna jump to shadows. And by the way, I did, a, I did another tutorial on how to match any color grid using color wheels and color match. Check that out, link in the description. Next, we're gonna go to highlights and adjust to get the look we are going for. Now, let's use the HSL secondary to separate our talent from the background. Using the qualifier tool, select a part of your talent skin and use the sliders to get a good selection. This technique is used by most Hollywood colorists to add a little bit of teal to the grade. After selecting, click on invert and add a little bit of teal 
using the correction wheel. After that, add a little bit of saturation and contrast. Finally, we're gonna add another adjustment layer in which we're gonna add a look to our grade. Using the looks that come pre-installed in Premiere Pro, select one that you like and adjust it to match the grade. Finally, if your final grade is a little underexposed, like mine, go back to basic correction and lift your highlights and exposure. And just like that, your videos will never be basic again. So if you enjoyed this video and you would like to see more, subscribe to the channel and share this video to other creators. Thank you.